Euromon presents Naturally Cool. Everybody takes chilled and frozen products for granted. They are an indispensable part of our daily diet. Chilled and frozen foods undergo a series of cooling processes during their journey from the point of origin to the consumer's refrigerator. This is often referred to as the cold chain. Many other industries rely on refrigeration. Air conditioning is also important in the private, commercial, and industrial sectors. But how is the cooling achieved? The chemistry and engineering associated with cooling processes can be complex. But the general principles of cooling can be easily explained. The refrigeration cycle consists of four basic components. A compressor, a condenser, an expansion valve, and an evaporator. In this cycle constantly flows a refrigerant, the blood, so to speak, that streams in every refrigeration cycle. This refrigerant can be natural or synthetic. So how long has refrigeration been in existence? Where does it come from? People have been using refrigeration to help preserve food for centuries. More than 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians used the oldest natural refrigerant in the world for cooling their food and beverages, ice. A total of four natural substances can be used as refrigerants. Ammonia, water, hydrocarbon, and carbon dioxide. Additionally, air with its central components, oxygen and nitrogen, can also be used as a refrigerant. Thanks to its energy efficiency and excellent cooling properties, ammonia has been used in the field of industrial cooling for more than 130 years. So when did refrigeration as we know it today begin? In 1869, the American Thaddeus S.C. Lowe built the first refrigerating plant working with CO2 in Jackson, Missouri. In 1876, Carl von Linde built the first refrigeration machine using ammonia in Munich. This led to the development and construction of the first large cold storage facilities in 1881. The chemical industry moved one step forward and developed synthetic refrigerants, the CFCs, which were also applied as blowing agents in aerosol cans and insulation foams. The synthetic refrigerants were propagated as safety refrigerants because they were easier to handle. From the 1930s onwards, their use increased in new refrigeration plants. Natural refrigerants such as CO2 were gradually phased out of use in favor of the CFCs. The chlorine and fluorine in these synthetic chemicals are responsible for environmental damage, including ozone depletion and global warming. Almost 50 years after the introduction as refrigerants, the Nobel scientists M. J. Molina and F. S. Rowland warned that the leakage of CFCs into the atmosphere could result in depletion of the Earth's ozone layer. Confirmation of a hole in the ozone layer in 1985 confirmed their theory. Since 1987, the Montreal Protocol has been put in place to gradually phase out the use of CFCs and other ozone-depleting substances in all areas of industry, including refrigeration. The phase-out of CFCs has resulted in the development of new chlorine-free refrigerant fluids, which don't cause ozone depletion. These new fluids contain chemicals made from carbon, hydrogen and fluorine. When released into the atmosphere, they contribute towards global warming. With a greater global focus on reducing the release of greenhouse gases, these new refrigerants are under review, with uncertainty over their long-term future. Since the prohibition of the CFCs, the industry has again focused increasingly on the use of natural refrigerants for cooling systems. Incidentally, the Association for Natural Refrigerants, Euromon, was also established in 1996. In recent years, investment in natural refrigerant technology has resulted in modern, safe, energy-efficient and economical solutions. Natural refrigerants are the future-proof solution that is environmentally and economically viable. Your refrigerator already uses natural refrigerants. Innovation is essential to all fields of cooling and heating. Providing exciting challenges and opportunities for the future.
join us on our journey into a natural future. Therefore, Euromon is committed to the development and promotion of natural reform.